Hola, buenas noches. Good evening, teacher. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Good evening, good evening. Great. Great. Ok. Vaya. Vamos a dar inicio el día de ahora. Solamente permítanme revisar un dato acá. Vaya, me aseguré que sí se esté grabando la conversación. Vaya, el día de ahora traigo un tema nuevo. Se lo voy a escribir acá en el chat. El tema se llama Simple Present. The Simple Present. Por favor, enciendan las cámaras, los que las tienen apagadas. Si tienen algún problema, pues háganmelo saber. Eh, respecto a este tema, les voy a pedir, por favor, que tomen nota. Tomen nota porque el tema es largo. Hay bastantes reglas que hay que enfocarse. Y este, si no toman nota, pues se van a perder con cierta información. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Sí. Ok. Um, let me go ahead and move to the second language, which is English. And I'm going to start sharing my computer screen. Once you can see it, just let me know. I think it's loading right now. I'm trying to open the platform at the same time. For some reason, it doesn't allow me to get in. Let me just try one more time. Eh, Pueden escucharme. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Vale, déjenme ver la conexión porque a mí me parece sin internet. No sé si donde usted está pasando lo mismo, pero acá es como que quiere llover y eso es lo que está provocando interrupción. Bueno, me aparece sí, el icono que ya volvió right nuevamente. Ahí. Perdón. Aquí igual está un, un poco que como que quiere llover desde el, toda la tarde, está así. Hay falla ahorita, teacher, pero aquí estamos. Ok. Vale, creo que todo bien. Si tienen algún inconveniente o si por A o B razón me desconecto, ya les aviso ahí un poco de interrupción. Espero que eso no pase, pero por cualquier cosa ya están sabedores. Can you listen to? Sí, lo vimos para mí. 
Yes. Okay. I'm going to share my computer's screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. Can you see it now or not yet? No, yet. Está cargando. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. I see. Your screen. Right. Okay, like I said, today's topic is related to the simple past. And I'm going to share the first slide. Please pay attention because it is going to be very important for you to take notes. And once you are able to see the slide, just let me know. Let me go ahead and uh, show you the lesson objective first. Give me one moment. Before we get to the platform, I would like to ask you all the regular verbs that you remember. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, uh, let's see. Marcos, can you please, can you please read the lesson objective for today? 4.0 listen objective. Mm -hmm. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about things people hate to do. Okay. Thank you. Now, let me go ahead and continue with the uh, next slide. It says vocabulary. Top eight things people have to do. And there you have the video. I'm going to go ahead and play the video. Once you can listen to the video, let me know. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, stand in line. Two, do laundry. Three. Travel to work. Four. Go to meetings. Five. Exercise. Six. Work in the yard. Seven. Clean the house. Eight. Open the mail. 
Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Now, before to continue, what are some things that people have to do according to the uh, video? Clean the house. Clean the house. Pour in the jar. Mm -hmm. Stand in the line. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Tra travel, travel to work. Travel the work. Go, okay. go to um, meetings. Go to meetings. Mm -hmm. um, Open the mail. Okay. Nelson, tell me uh, all the things exercise. that you have to do. Do exercises. Okay. Repeat, please. Um, tell me all the things that you have to do, but you hate them. Work. Okay, so you have to I work. I hate work. Mm -hmm. You hate to work, okay. Let's see, Alexandra, tell me the things that you have to do, but you hate to do them. Carlos, tell me the things that you have to do, but you hate doing. Liliana, thank you. Wash the dishes. Dishes. Okay, so you have to wash the dishes, but you hate to wash the dishes, correct? Yes. <laughs> okay, but Osli, tell me the things that you have to do, but you hate them. Um, um, work in the jar. Okay. Work in the, in a job. Okay. Uh, things that I have to do, but I hate, let's see, washing my, my socks. So I have to do them, but I hate them. Okay. Let's continue. Nelson, help me with this part, this uh, lesson objective. BTN, on this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative state statements. statements in the sample pass using regular verbs. Additionally, you practice a conversation with illustrates how this topic is used in a real life settings. A real life setting. Okay, let's check the video and then I'm going to give you the rules, okay? I think it's Lorian, by the way. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. 
Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercised. E-X-E-R-C-I-S-E-D. Study. Studied. S-T-U-D-I-E-D. Stay. Stayed. S-T-A-Y-E-D. Shop. Shopped. S-H-O-P-P-E-D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start, though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right-hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense, and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, We'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. 
Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, watch. Finally, we will add the complement, a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself, family, friends, and co-workers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise. On Monday, my friend didn't stay home on Saturday. She shopped for clothes. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, guys, let me go ahead and share my computer screen, actually the PowerPoint presentation. And there are some things that you need to take into consideration related to the simple present. For example, there you have the simple past tense. Um, sorry, I said the simple present, but that's the simple past tense. There are some, some things that you need to take into consideration, which is the rules, the spelling rules. You had the first option here. Look at the options and example. And if you want to take notes, actually, I advise you to take notes because this is really important. So the rules are for regular verbs only, regular verbs. And let's see, uh, there you had the base form plus ed, okay? So the majority of the verbs, you are going to add ed at the end in the simple past. For example, walk plus ed becomes walked. Play plus ed becomes played. Are you following me? Yes. yes, follow you. Okay. And we have the second rule. This is the first rule, the first rule. To the majority of the regular verbs, you are going to add ed at the end but you had the rule number two. Rule number two. What does rule number two say? It says that if the verb ends in letter E, okay, if the verb ends in letter E, what you are going to do, you are going to add just the letter D. For example, like becomes like, okay? If you see, you added just the letter D. Move ends with letter E. So you are going to add just the letter D. And move becomes moved, okay? Questions so far? Do you have any oh, questions? No, it's clear. Or is that clear? Okay. Cool. We have the rule number three. Rule number three says the verb ending in a consonant plus letter Y you are going to change or delete the letter Y. 
and you are going to add the letter I plus ED. So look at this example. Carry ends with letter Y, correct? Mm -hmm. Carry. So we are going to eliminate the letter Y and we're going to add I E D. So cry becomes cried. Study. Study ends with letter Y. Okay. But the rule says that we are going to eliminate the letter Y. And we're going to add I E D. So study becomes studied. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, other other example, cry. Cry. Exactly. Cry becomes cried. Try becomes tried. Is that clear? Cool. Yes, clear. Okay. Right. Okay. It's clear. And we have the rule number four. Rule number four. It says some verbs ending in. Sure. Yes. Yes. Dime, Nelson. Question. Dime. In the verb play, no regla. El verbo play no cuenta en esa, esa regla. De que se le cambia la, la... letter Y. No. Play es. Porque lleva un, una vocal, ¿verdad, teacher? Antes de la Y. Uh, before the letter Y. And also that's an exception. Ah, okay. okay. We don't change. Perdón, me salió de la clase que ya comienza yo. <laughs> ah, it's okay. Um, so, and we have the rule number four. The rule number four says, some verbs ending in a single consonant, the second last letter is a vowel. We're going to double the last letter and we're going to add ed. Okay, if the verb ends in consonant, vowel, consonant, we're going to duplicate the last letter, like in this example. What's the last letter? Letter n. We're going to duplicate. Here, what is the last letter? Letter p. p. Okay, so, if the verb ends in consonant, vowel consonant, consonante, vocal consonante, we duplicate the last letter. Okay? Example, plan mm -hmm. becomes planned. 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 Stop beca becomes stop. 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 Do you have questions with the rules? Teacher, eh, el mm -hmm. play es porque lleva una vocal antes de la Y, ¿verdad? Eh, puede ser una de las razones y otra es que es una excepción. Inglés tiene excepciones. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Les voy a mandar la captura de las reglas para que las tengan, las copien y se las memoricen. Porque eso le va a servir para toda su vida. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Thanks, teacher. My pleasure. Okay. Let me see if I can send it. I think it's loading. Well, let's continue then. We also have Another rule. Si se fijan, con esta yo dije walked. ¿Cierto? Sí. 
True. Here I said walked. And here I said played. Escuchan el final. ¿Por qué la diferencia? Con una D, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y aquí carried. Y aquí planned. Wow. No tanto la diferencia de la pronunciación. Uh, como que largamos y decimos debe ya vamos a ver cuál es la diferencia porque eso quiero que lo pongan atención estas solo son las reglas del, de, de cómo se escribe y qué hay que hacer cuando termina con, con E cuando termina con letra Y cuando termina con consonante vocal consonante ahorita nos pasamos al siguiente Okay. And these are the rules for pronunciation. You have rule number one, rule number two, and rule number three. For example, for example, if the verb ends in letter Y, Letter V, letter N, letter Y. Sorry, I said Y here, but this is W, sorry. Uh, all these verbs, the pronunciation is going to be D. For example, Y though, moved. The ed ending is pronounced a letter D. Mm -hmm. Move the mood. Mood. Return the return the returned. Stayed. Stayed. Studied. Studied. Married. Married. Clear? Questions? Yes. Teacher, en este caso, tenemos que alargar, ¿verdad? Y terminar con debe. No. No. Lo, lo que acá dice, estamos, ya leí, ya vimos la, la regla de cómo se escribe. Ahora estamos viendo la regla cómo se pronuncia. Sí. ¿Cómo se pronuncia la ED al final? En este caso, sí. estamos pronunciando como D. ¿Por qué? Porque los verbos terminan con sí. W, con V, con N con Y y latina y hay otros pero les traje los más comunes ¿ya? Yep. ¿clear? ¿lo puede repetir teacher, please? sure if the verb ends in letter W letter V letter N letter Y in letter I, the ed ending here, this ed ending is going to be pronounced as the white white out. And here, move, moved. Okay. Here, Return with the ed ending, returned. And here, stayed. Here, you say, studied. 
Okay. Here. You say married. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. It's clear. And here you have a rule number two. Rule number two for pronunciation only. If the verb ends in letter K, letter P, letters SH, letter C, letter P, GH, okay? The pronunciation of the ED ending, the ED ending, is going to be, okay? Example, work, 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 okay? Here, drop, drop, finish, Plus the ED ending, finished. Okay. Divorce, plus ED ending, divorce. Stop, plus ED ending, stop. Laugh plus ED ending, laughed. Okay, since now on, I don't want to listen to you saying work it, no more work it. That is worked in the past. Worked. No more worked. drop it. That's dropped. Drop. Dropped. 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 No more finish it. It is finished. Finished. No more divorce it. It is divorced. 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 Stopped. 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 Laughed. 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 Okay. And we also have the rule number three. What does the rule number three say? The rule number three says that if the verb ends in letter T, letter T or letter D, the pronunciation of the ED ending is going to be Eid. Clear? Eid. Clear or not clear? Eid. Eid. Starting. Okay. So, the Eid ending on this regular verb is going to be a star T. Yeah. Okay. And the E the ending for this verb is going to be graduated. Graduated. The E the ending for this verb is going to be decided. Decided. Okay, the ED ending for the next verb is going to be separated, separated, okay, the ED ending for the next verb is going to be needed, 
And uh, the idi ending for the next verb is going to be attended. Okay. If you see, you have just three pronunciations in English. Okay. In the simple past. The. And. Eid. Is that clear? Yes, clear, teacher. Cool. Yes, clear, teacher. Thank you. Now, let's continue. To talk about the simple past, you need to know past time expressions. These are past time, past time expressions. Expresiones en el pasado. So, Edwin, read the first one. Nelson? Last night. Last night. Berosli? Uh, last week. Jenny? Last weekend. Okay. Uh, let's see. Carlos? Amalia? Let's move. Alexandra? Arely? Last year. Thank you. Ale eh, Astrid? Claudia? Edwin. Teacher, yo no podía encender el micrófono, pero ya pude. Last Monday. Thank you. Elisa. Okay, Marcos. Ten minutes ago. Liliana. An hour ago. Tiffany. Three days ago. Jenny. A week ago. Yesenia. A month ago. A month ago. A month ago. Hace un mes. Nelson. Eight years ago. A year ago. Okay. Uh, Yesenia. Jenny. Yesterday. Nelson. Yesterday morning. Marco. Yesterday evening. Evening. Griselda. Yesterday. Igne. Leticia. Uh, the day before yesterday. Okay. Liliana. Yesterday night. Night. Thank you. Do you have any question with this vocabulary? Guys, the day before what, yesterday what is, is como referirse a antier. Yesterday is ayer. 
before yesterday. Uh -huh. Antier, yes. Ah, okay. Teacher, teacher, I have a question. Yep. Um, what, what is the difference in the in the word last ago yesterday? Ah, eh, last night, la noche anterior, no? Eh, ten minutes ago, diez min hace diez minutos. Ahí dice, hace, luego last, dice pasada, yesterday, ayer. O sea que sería primero ago, digamos en, en, en inmediatez, sería primero ago, después last, o, o después yesterday. Mm, me perdiste. O sea, o sea, en, en orden decís tú. Ajá, en inmediatez, o sea, lo más cerquita, digamos, sería hace 10 minutos, ¿verdad? Ajá. Si te querés ir en un orden, sí. Pero igual, no tiene un orden realmente. Porque depende de lo que estés hablando. Porque si yo terminé una llamada hace, hace una hora, entonces voy a decir an hour ago. Algo que ya pasó hace una hora. Uh, pero en el mismo, no porque ahí dice también, en el, puede ser a years ago. Perdón. A years. Uh, o sea, no. puede ser years ago como last year. A oh, year eh. ago or, or last year también. Uh -huh. y, y ahí como lo utilizamos. Digamos, viene siendo como las mismas palabras, solo de una, ocupando una forma diferente, ¿verdad? Con last year and year ago, sí. Uh -huh. Lo único que, si, tu, si tú dices a year ago, hace un año, estás especificando un año, ¿sí? Pero si vos decís last year, ahí no estás especificando. Se lo estás diciendo el año pasado. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? ¿Se entiende? Por ejemplo, digamos, el 31 de diciembre. Ya el primero de diciembre, perdón, el primero de enero, tú puedes decir last, last year. year, el año pasado. Pero no, pero, pero ahí no puedes decir a year ago porque no ha pasado un año, ha pasado un día del año anterior, ¿sí? Uh -huh. ¿Se entiende? Yes. Yes. Bueno. Any other question? Okay. Let's continue then. Since we have verified the rules for spelling, the pronunciation spell, uh, the pronunciation rule, we are going to check the positive, negative, and questions form. And these are the just no questions. Okay? Yes. Yes, no questions. Yes. No questions. Okay. For example, in the positive form, you have I work. So you have subject plus verb plus complement. Si le vamos agregando un complemento, para eso vimos el uso de past time expressions. Por ejemplo, yo digo, I worked yesterday morning. Acá tenemos los complementos, para eso se usa. ¿Sí? Yesterday morning, I worked yesterday afternoon. I worked yesterday, yesterday. evening. <laughs> I worked the day before yesterday. 
I worked yesterday night. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, clear, teacher. Past, the past time expression. This, these are the past time expressions. And these past time expressions, you can use them as complement. Clear? Yes. So, great. So, you can say, you were last Monday. Si no están usando el micrófono, pónganlo en mute, porfa. Okay. So, you can say, I were last Monday. You were two days ago. We were, okay, last evening. They were, okay, the day before yesterday. She were, okay, an hour ago. He were, okay, last night. It were two days ago. ¿Se entiende? Okay. Yes. With sí, sí. the negative form, with the ne negative form, you are going to add didn't, which is the contraction, or you can say did not. Clear? So you can say this is the subject I. The auxiliary didn't, okay? This is the auxiliary. Okay, the verb and complement, you can use past time expression. So you can say- For, ex for example, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. For example, I didn't work. Mm -hmm the last weekend excellent great continue nelson give me one sentence using uh, the subject the auxiliary verb the verb okay and the complement past time expressions uh-huh do didn't do didn't work the the last Friday. Excellent. Great. Continue, Marcos. Amalia. We didn't. Mm -hmm. Marcos. Um, we didn't play the last. Uh, um, they Let's one see. more time, please. No te entiendo. He didn't play last month, last month. Okay, Oops. thank you. Continue. I... Let's see. Yeah. I... Okay, they thank you. They... They didn't work last year. Last year, thank you. Leticia, continue. Liliana. They didn't work. They didn't work two hours ago. Thank you, Milena. Milena. Yesenia. Nelson. She didn't work yesterday night. 
Thank you. Jenny? He didn't work last week. Thank you. Tiffany? And it didn't work. Uh huh. In the complement. Griselda, give me one sentence using this idea and the complement. It didn't work last weekend. Thank you. Okay. If I ask you, did I work? What would be your answer, Nelson? Did I work mm -hmm. the last Monday? No. If I ask you, yes, uh, did I work? What would be your answer? Yes. Yes, I did. I did work. No. Yes, I did. No. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, or you can say, no, you didn't. In this case, if I ask you, Nelson, did I work? Last weekend, you're going to say, no, you didn't, or yes, you did. Yes, I did. Mm, no. Te pregunto, ¿trabajé? Uh -huh. ¿Trabajé Ay, el sábado bien. pasado? Entonces, tu, tu oh, respuesta no va a ser, sí, trabajé, no, sino que didn't. va a decir... No, no, you, you didn't. didn't. No, no trabajaste, ¿verdad? Porque uh -huh. te referís a mí, no a ti oh, mismo. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Si es positivo. Pero si uh -huh. es negativo, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you Now, didn't. if I ask you, did you work last night? Griselda, what would be your answer? Yeah, no, no. Yes, you work last night? Yes, I work. Yes, what? Yes, I yes, did. did. Yes, I did. O no, I didn't. Por eso estas preguntas se llaman yes, no questions, porque usted solo dice yes, I did, no, I, no, I didn't. Usted no da información adicional. Amalia, did we... Que, es lo mismo, Ticha. Uh -huh. Es lo mismo cuando nos ha preguntado, pero en presente, el auxiliar do, ¿verdad? Nada más Correcto. que ahorita estamos respondiendo en pasado. Correcto. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. José Heriberto, did we work last weekend? What will be your answer? Positive and negative. Um, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. Ok. Did they work last Sunday, Nelson? Positive and negative. No, they. No, they didn't. And positive. Yes, 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 they did. Yes, they yes, did. did. But Osley, did she work uh, two hours ago? Yes, she. Did. In negative? No, she didn't. Thank you. Elisa, did he work two days ago? Yes, he worked. No, yes, he did. Uh, yes, did he? No, yes, he did. Yes, he did. In negative? Uh, no, he did. Didn't. Didn't. Erika, did it work yesterday night? Positive and negative. Claudia. Did it work yesterday night? Claudia. Yeah, it worked. 
Why did? No. Pero, Ashley, did it work yesterday night? Positive and negative. Yes. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Thank no, it you. didn't. Excellent. Vaya. Ya no le voy a quitar más de su tiempo porque ya nos pasamos un poquito. Eh, mañana va, estas son las preguntas simples. Yes, no questions. Mañana vamos a continuar con las otras preguntas que son para dar información adicional y se llaman WH words. Okay. Teacher, ¿y, ¿Y será que nos sí. puede mandar eso al grupo para practicarlo? Sí, pues, Igual que la, la, la anterior. Sí, claro. claro. Sí, Con gusto. Okay, gracias. Teacher. Bueno. Teacher. Uh -huh. eh, solicité que me agreguen con el número que, que compartí en WhatsApp en el grupo, por favor. Porque eh, uh -huh. hoy me salí con el número anterior. Vaya, alguien puede pasarle el enlace. Es que tenés que unirte al enlace. Ok, alguien, me ¿Alguien lo puede le puede compartir pasar el enlace Ajá. para que se agregue. Hola. Ok. Ok, compártanlo por es favor para número. que se agregue. Por voy el, a anotar por y te lo voy a pasar. Gracias, gracias. Y así se agrega. Ok, vaya. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Le voy a dar un minuto. Está bien largo el pasado simple, ¿verdad? Yes, yes teacher. Simple, teacher, lo que hay que tener cuidado es que cuando es en negari, eh, como ya lleva el auxiliar, no es necesario que convirtamos el verbo en, en, en negari también, ¿verdad? No. Solo es el auxiliar. El, el auxiliar hace, hace la función. Ese modifica. Que es el que ocupamos para todos los pronombres, ¿verdad? Siempre el did. Uh -huh. Correcto. Vale. Entonces no, nos vamos a quedar. Tú y das. No, ese no. En el pasado el did es para todo. Terceras personas y para I, you, he, she, it. We, you, and they. Eso es lo bueno, lo único bueno del, del pasado. De ahí tienen que enfocarse en las reglas, porque si no se enfoca en las reglas, tanto en la pronunciación como en el spelling, ahí se va a perder. Mándenos las reglas, porfa. Claro, vaya, lo voy a dejar hasta acá, porque tengo que cerrar la grabación. Si no han cenado, buen provecho. And see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.